My name is Nancy Morgan. I'm the Director of Legal Operations here at the Finkelstein and Partners Law Firm. I'm also the founder of the Veterans Services Group here at the firm. Today, I want to talk about total disability. In the VA world, it's called TDIU, Total Disability Individual Unemployability. What is TDIU? Total disability is considered to exist when there is any impairment of mind or body which is sufficient to render it impossible for the average person to follow a substantially gainful occupation. So what does this mean and how can I break this down for you? Well, in order to apply to the VA for total disability, the test will be whether or not an average person would be totally disabled with the same condition. There are very specific words in this definition. For example, mind or body means that it can be a mental illness or a physical ailment, but the disability stems from a back condition. It must be substantial. And once again, you're gonna see the average person standard. Substantially gainful occupation. You see a lot of cases where that's discussed. It's another important term. Let's break it down into those separate components to determine TDIU, the VA is going to consider the veteran's education. They're going to look at their employment history. They're going to look at any special training that the veteran might have received. They're going to look at the unique skills that that veteran has in any special circumstances at the workplace. The VA should not look at the veteran's age, retirement status, or if the veteran's a student. The VA will look at the type of employment if the veteran is employed, because there might be volunteer work or other form of income that the veteran is receiving. Has the veteran been able to maintain the job? Maybe looking at the history of the veteran hasn't retained a job. They keep switching to different positions. Is the job that the veteran has gainful? Well, gainful means that they're earning a good salary. The VA is going to look at the poverty threshold tables. And in this case, the poverty threshold table says that $12,490 per year in 2019 is considered poverty. They're going to be looking at to see if the work is gainful. It's whether it's a protected job. Are they working for the family? Do they have a supervisor that covers for them? Has the veteran missed 100 days and no one's holding them to task for that. So they're going to look at to see if it's a protected position, even if they are working and even if they're not getting a salary at the poverty level. Is it marginal employment? Are they working for low wages? The next inquiry is going to be based upon the current disability that's assigned to the veteran. Now, in the VA charts, they have it explained in percentages, and there's different rating decisions and rating percentages. What the VA is going to look at, if there's a current disability already rated, they're going to look, at, look for the numbers 60% or 70%. If one of the disability for that veteran is at 60%, or if two or more of the disabilities are at 70% combined with one of those combined items being at 40%, then that veteran might be eligible for TDIU, total disability. The disability has to affect a single system. So what is one disability that has to be 60%? Well, it doesn't have to be only your left arm. The disability affects, and I'm gonna again quote, a single system within the body, for example, it's your digestive system, your cardiovascular system, or even an orthopedic injury. If it arises from one event, for example, if you're a prisoner of war, or if you had one event that caused you several areas of your body to be disabled. If it's a disability of one or both upper extremity, or lower extremity combined, that might be considered one um, item for the purpose of reaching that 60% disability. Once the TDIU, or once total disability is awarded, the next question is, what would be the effective date
for the back pay or the retroactive benefits. And this sometimes gets complicated because if you filled out your, your 21526 form for TDIU and you were granted TDIU, and it turns out you had a prior claim. You had 70% or 60% of one item for three years. You haven't worked for five years. Well, because the VA has a duty to assist you, that regional office had a duty to assist you, you could say that there was an inferred claim because under the uh, application process, the explicit claim, you just made a claim for total disability, but it was inferred and they should have seen that. So effectively, you should be entitled to and should apply for the retroactive benefits, benefits back to the time that they should have known that you were totally disabled. I hope this was helpful. For more information, you can always go to www.va.gov, G-O-V. Thank you very much and have a good day.